everybody and welcome or welcome back to the reading corner today as you can see I'm joined by a friend and this friend was the one who helped me start the YouTube channel after I said hey what about doing a podcast and she said no how about you do a YouTube channel instead <laughs> so um I am joined by Tika and we are going to do song association if you've ever heard of that game um but book edition so the generator is going to generate a random song and then based on that song title we have to come up with a book so here we go and we have to do it in 10 seconds i forgot to mention that but we're doing it in 10 seconds so here we go don't let me down Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Yes. Air Awakens. I was also going to say Air Awakens. <laughs> Even though we know what happened. <laughs> but I won't spoil it for anyone who hasn't read it. But Air Awakens by Elise Kova. That was a time. Um, and I remember thinking of that song while reading pretty much all of the series. Um, but Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows also works. All right, here we go. What? The Will the Willeman scream. The Willeman scream. All I can think of is the word scream because I don't know what Willeman means. Um, eh, I don't know. Okay, <laughs> that one was a bust because I don't know. Yeah. I don't even know what a Willeman scream is. So that was a complete bust. Okay. <laughs> Bitch by Rolling Stones. Oh. <laughs> no one come after us. Um uh, and we've already went over time because I was too busy talking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that one's also a bust, but I honestly can't think of anything. I was gonna say um the Lunar Queen from the Lunar Chronicles. Oh, yeah, that's good. Although I forgot her name. Okay. Uh, Lavinia. Oh, yes. Lavinia. <laughs> okay. One Kiss. Any romance book? <laughs> A thousand yeah, kisses uh, in your lifetime. Nice. Because that Ooh, is. in the title, too. Yeah. Although I don't know if any couple has had just one kiss. Ooh. Fourth Wing. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. I won't spoil it, though. They had one kiss. And that was it. <laughs> okay. When I look at you. Archer's voice. Something to hold. Okay. Oh, the American roommate experiment. Because Lucas can't stop looking at her. But neither can Archer, if we're being real. I think, I mean, I know, again, not within the 10 seconds, but um, the hit you give also comes to mind, just because when she's going to the court session, the parents are like, you know, when I look at you, like, I see someone so much stronger than... Mm, yeah. Also, I know this isn't a book, but Avatar. The movie? Thanks, Jake, I see you. Mm hmm Okay. Liar. Oh. Air Awakens. Because <laughs> there's a lot. Vector <laughs> uh, is most definitely a liar. Sorry to burst anybody's bubble, but he's a liar. <laughs> I'm trying to think of who else was a liar. If it's not obvious to anyone, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. Just um, don't condone the author, but. The books are great. Um, mm -hmm. And the Order of the Phoenix came to mind there. Yes. I think I think we've kind of reached this point where whether or not you condone the author, we grew up on it so much that we yeah, like... Yeah, separate the, separate the uh, art from the artist, basically. Yes. It's a masterpiece. Um, she's a nut job, but uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love your description of she's a nut job. <laughs> okay. Oh, I feel like all these are too easy. Needed me. Oh, 
on the come up another angie thomas book um love in other words if you know the mm-hmm. ending you know what happened and she most definitely needed it <laughs> i'm trying not to spoil that's why i'm being so cryptic roses Okay, there's an obvious one here. Mm-hmm. Do you know it? The selection? No. And we also went over time, so what is it? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna take thank you to this one. You mentioned the series earlier. Rose Garden? Oh that should have been way too obvious. Yeah. Um yes, Air Awakens. Lovely. Loved all the scenes in the Rose Garden. Oh, I could have also said A Court of Thorns and Roses. That would have been real obvious. Okay. Uh, Can't Hold Us. Um, Mortal Instruments. Oh, nice. Yeah, Simon. Obviously, I had to think for Clary, and that didn't happen. Oops. (laughs) Or to all the other like 34 selected girls in the selection sorry (laughs) oh um also um magnus chase the uh end of the ship of the dead um with um alex and magnus and just kind of coming against all all odds and like the representation there is really great yes um, also, if you all just saw, I skipped multiple songs, and that's because I don't want to get demonetized, so we're gonna go with the song, Heathens. A Curse So Dark and Lonely, I think she calls them Heathens. Oh, nice. I think. Or, oh, I bet Clan of the Cave Bear. Oh, I know one for sure. Um, we keep mentioning it, but Air Awakens. Because they had the whole war thing going on. Uh, so they thought the enemy were heathens. Nice. Or um, An American Sunrise. Because it has to... Oh, wow. You came up with three, though. Yeah. By Joe Harjo. Um, because it has to do with the Trail of Tears. And we all know the history. Let's be, let's be honest. Um, okay. Hmm. Also, like the original pocahontas i'm sure they i know it was mentioned in like the disney version and i'm sure like a book about pocahontas probably talks about how they thought that um indigenous people are heathens nice gonna see that those are some deep books yeah um somebody else any uh a quarter of thorns and roses but specifically the second book because if you've read it, then you know what happens with the whole love triangle. Um, ooh, or the selection. Also, if you know, you know. I'm trying to think of other books that have a love triangle in them. The Mortal Instruments, again, love in other words. I feel like any romance book would probably do. Oh, nice. One we haven't mentioned before, um, Betrothed and Betrayed, that duology by Kira Cass. Psycho. Oh. Um, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, another reference there, but Bellatrix. Yes. Yeah. I would say Lavinia, too. From oh, Mark yeah. Because she's definitely a psycho, most definitely. Yeah, that series fits in a lot of ways. Yeah. I feel like I'm cheating, but the song is Congratulations, and I automatically thought of the song Hamilton, which was adapted from the book by Ron Chernow called Alexander Hamilton. So I feel like I'm cheating. However, it is technical. Nice. Um, I'm trying to think what else. And I forgot to stop stop the timer, but I know it was before 10 seconds. Um. I kind of think. Uh, the Hunger Games. Oh, yeah, that's a Suzanne Collins, yeah. Yeah. Okay. No type. Who? I'm trying to think of a book 
with asexual people. And I can't. And I say asexual people because when I thought of no type, it's like, we don't have a type because we're not, like, correct me if I'm wrong, but asexual people, like, aren't interested in sexual relationships. Yeah, um, or just, like, the idea of having sex. Mm -hmm. Um, Above the, over the limit, but the city of embers. um, Okay. City underground, lots of, like, restructuring of rules and stuff like that, so I think that fits. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, also the naming by Alison Crogan in that series, um, mm. has a lot of that, like, no type, um, and I'm just trying to figure out where to go, um, based on their problems, trying not to spoil, but that was one of my, I grew up on that one, or in that series, so, yeah. Nice. Black Widow. Ooh. All I can think of Jack and the Beanstalk. <laughs> Jack and the Beanstalk! Okay, because all I could think about was the Black Widow challenge that goes around on YouTube for The Sims 4. Oh my gosh. <laughs> or, um, what's her name? From, everyone's gonna come after me, but from, like, the Avengers. She's literally called Black I also Widow. don't know. Okay. Well, no I... the comments for not knowing that. Mother Gothel from... <laughs> Oh. yeah uh, yeah i mean like i have no idea what her thing was before that other than being an evil evil stepmother but yeah yeah okay okay um dance monkey oh um <laughs> the golden compass what's her name's little monkey <laughs> Oh, um, Mrs. Coulter. Great. Yes, Mrs. Reference. Coulter's little monkey. He's just dancing around everywhere and stealing random crap. And causing lots of problems. Yeah. Yep. Nice. And we're back to where we started. Oh. <laughs> um, with the song Don't Let Me Down. Does it just not have... I don't know, because there were... There are were multiple repeats so I skipped over them like the one that was one kiss literally it came in like three different times okay interesting okay let's I'm gonna try one more time and see if I can get a new one see okay okay I got a new one uh try um oh god uh uh oh it says try me (laughs) try me okay uh (laughs) Uh, um, Cinder. Uh, okay. Luda Chronicles. We were over time on that one, but like, I feel like any enemies to lovers and Cinder and Scarlet. Yeah, the characters embody that. Mm -hmm. Uh, From the Lunar Chronicles, yeah. And I feel as if, um, like Cal from Red Queen. Oh, nice. Um, I also think if any, like, anyone that's read Brandon Mull knows that his characters in any series are like that. The Beyonders trilogy with Jason and Rachel is very much a try me, you're not going to be able to get past me, even though this is a new world for me. Um, and Five Kingdoms, the series with Cole and Mira is very much also that. And then the Fablehaven series is very much Seth being like, yep, try me, and then doing things anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I would even say fourth wing, the more you learn about Zayden, I feel like he's just like, I don't give a crap what happens, so try me because I don't care. I feel like any female series like any series that you and I have read together, uh, with a strong female character is like so help the person who tries to cross her because <laughs> It's not gonna go well, like, yeah, America or Mare, um, from Red Queen and the selection. Like, I think any female character, like, a strong female character written well, um, 
or just or, yeah oh you know what now that I think about it um winter from oh, yeah. Chronicles because she went through some stuff and um yeah she went through it yeah she definitely did and still tried to stay good despite all that um yeah lots of fun and um a wide variety of books um yeah so you know bonus you get some book recommendations um or if you know get to be reminded of your favorite books so uh feel free to play along in the comments and or do this yourself um I just looked up random song generator so feel free to do it yourself until next time so coming in from editing and I calculated our score and critique it and I got 10 out of 15.